one of Julio Ops posted a picture of him dead. Say, hold up, how in the f did they even get that picture? I ain't gonna show my face and give my identity away or nothing like that, but you know, I did that, you feel me? A lot of people say this is fake. Me personally, I think this picture is real. It's been two weeks since one of Jacksonville's most controversial drill rappers, Julio Fulio, was pronounced dead. Since his demise, Fulio has been trending on the internet, and I wonder if the dead rapper has rested at all. And so this would imply that he would, you know, wouldn't have been driving this vehicle. He would have possibly been in that uh, passenger seat when he tried to make his way to the back seat. The footage is attracting analytical reactions online. There is only a slim line between those who believe the footage is real and those who are still in doubt in this video. I will go deep into F murder and expose the reasons behind leaked footage of Julio's dead body going viral. If you are not faint in heart, then stay with me. No rest for Fulio. You may only know the importance of rest in peace once you are dead and unable to rest. There was no rest for Fulio in this life and still there seems to be no rest for him in the afterlife as leaked footage of his dead body goes viral. One of Fulio Ops posted a picture of him dead. Say, hold up, how the did they even get that picture? The world is shocked by the news of Fulio's dead body going viral on the internet. The question on your mind must be, why are people like this right? The gist is that one of Fulio's ops by the name fell out. Sosa has reportedly shaken the internet with a picture of Fulio's dead body. He seemed to have posted it out of cloud chasing, or perhaps to prove a point who knows foul out Sosa, is a member of the ATK gang, one of the most dangerous gangs in Jacksonville following Fulio's murder. ATK has not taken a break from dissing and disrespecting Fulio even in death. It is against their wish that Fulio ever experiences peace in the afterlife just. When I thought they were done foul out Sosa, breaks the internet with the most disgusting move ever apparently right after brutally killing Fulio foul out. Sosa took a picture of Fulio's dead body stuffed in a car face down. He snapped that picture with the sole aim of trolling the late rapper online. You may probably know that trolling and dissing dead rappers is a popular practice among Jacksonville drill rappers. But posting a dead body online is weird as it appears foul out Sosa leaked this insane picture on his Instagram page without any iota of fear. The footage shows Fulio wearing the same outfit he wore on his birthday before his demise, a red cap and a white shirt. I genuinely apologize that this photo has to be censored in line with the community guidelines. Sosa leaked the footage with the caption, damn boy, now I don't know where Sosa got this picture of Fulio's dead body from. He appears to be the first person to have posted this update. Since the news about Fulio's death hit the internet, leaked footage of Fulio's dead body is attracting crazy reactions on the internet. Some people fail to see why Sosa would do such a disgusting thing, while others are trying to confirm whether or not the leaked footage footage is truly Folio's dead body. Another person is certain that foul out Sosa pulled the trigger on Folio. Come to think of it, how else could foul out get the picture amid this confusion? Another person is more concerned with the trauma and agony this leaked footage will bring upon Folio's family members. I must tell you when I heard that leaked footage of Folio's dead body was going viral on the internet. I first thought of his mama. How is she going to react to that? This commenter seems to have a detailed analysis of the viral footage of Fulio's dead body. The comment says it looks like Fulio was trying to jump to the back. And they noticed and jumped back to make sure it was over him. She wondered why Fulio was so reckless that he had to go out around 3, 4 o'clock. Given the insecurity around him. And so this would imply that he would, you know, wouldn't have been driving this vehicle. He would have possibly been in that uh, passenger seat when he tried to make his way to the back seat, right? Yes, at least that is what the footage shows. Julio seemed to have tried to escape the back seat because his body was face down and stretched to the back seat while one of his legs was stuck in the passenger seat concurrently. While leaked footage of Fulio dead body is making news on the internet, footage of Fulio's murder suspect surfaces on the internet. In the footage, you see a man wearing a blue shirt beside what seems like a black car. The suspect seems to be pointing a rifle at the black car. Well, as usual, fans have disputed the credibility of the footage, saying it's just random crime footage. But there is a detail in one of the photos that makes me doubt parking now for 37 in the morning is about the same time that Fulio was shot at the police reported that they got Call by 4.40 in the morning, reporting a shootout in the parking lot of the holiday in three minutes is just enough time for anyone to dial 911 and report a shootout. Wouldn't you agree with the timestamps matching? Most of the doubts on the internet have been cleared. This is an indictment coming right the way of the persons or group of persons who killed Fulio. At this point, there are too many people claiming they are the murderers before Fulio's murder murder used to be a fearsome crime. No one wanted to admit publicly gone are those days in another tragic turn of events for Fulio people.
are making money with the leaked footage of him being killed. I mean, it keeps getting worse for Fulio since his birthday party. It is beginning to feel like the guy was cursed on his birthday. Not only was he killed and dissed, but his murder footage is being sold for the fun. There has to be a video, you guys, of this whole incident that took place. And people are claiming on Reddit that they have the video and they're trying to sell the video. Uh, somebody even saying that they would sell it for a thousand. And then I seen somebody would say, you know, they would sell it for three. Oh, well, as it turned out, there's a whole market on it. People even have different price tags on it. What is really happening with people? Now, I'm curious, perhaps you too. What do they do with the pictures after purchasing them? Frame it and hang it on the wall like a family album, looking at it from another perspective. These pictures of Fulio's dead body on the internet clear a lot of doubt about whether or not Fulio is still alive. As you may already know, within the week leaked footage of Fulio on live Instagram was paraded on the internet, which started a conspiracy theory. Many, many people came out to say Fulio was still alive because his grandma did. Voodoo. These recent updates outrightly confirmed Fulio's death. I would definitely have to say, this is definitely Julio Fulio, you guys, and I know a lot of people are saying he's still alive, and he faked his dad. Everyone was fuming within the week that Fulio was still alive. This was largely because there appeared to be activities and transactions that went down on his YouTube and Instagram within the week. Some people even compared Fulio to Tupac Shocker saying that Fulio was still alive, just like Tupac Shocker. His grandmother's voodoo was the highlight of the week people said she fortified and brought against the Grim Reaper Og. Went on to explain that right now people are speculating that Fulio's murderers started to leak proof of Fulio being killed so that people confirmed that yes they truly smoked Fio it was a game over here is another detailed description this guy summarized the entire footage for those who might not get to watch it just reading through you could have an idea of what Fulio's last moments felt like he died trying to look for an escape he fought for his life. He was never going to leave that parking lot alive and he was Ed how death visited Fulio. Definitely have to say this is definitely Julio Fulio, you guys. And I know a lot of people are saying he's still alive and he faked his death. So here's what we know at this point. Around 4.40 this morning, we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again, this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. One of Jacksonville's most controversial drill rappers, Julio Fulio met his horrific demise in the early hours of June 23. The Grim Reaper was not kind to Julio Fulio in any way. Just after celebrating his 26th birthday in Tampa, Florida, he took his soul. After an intense shootout that targeted two automobiles arrived at the parking lot, three other persons were taken to the hospital in stable condition, according to Tampa police, who also confirmed that Julio Fulio was the sole person dead from the incident. Pool party kicks off today at 5.30. I appreciate everyone coming out for my birthday. You know what I mean? If you already have the address draw up, man, you have the address pull up. If you need to dress yourself right now, DM me. Greetings on your birthday. Though Julio Fulio's birthday was June 21st, the rapper requested an extended birthday celebration that was scheduled to conclude on June 23rd. For his 26th birthday, Julio Fulio promised a thrilling pool party celebration. He posted the flyer online inviting everyone, and provided the location for people to show up. Sadly, Death wanted to party that weekend, so why not accept Julio Fulio's invitation? But don't get me wrong, this was not the Grim Reaper's random day at work, he wouldn't have settled for just anyone. Julio Fulio was out celebrating his birthday. You might be wondering why Death yanked him from the celebration. Well, I'll tell you why. Aside from his obvious talent and artistic mastery, Fulio was one of Jacksonville's most controversial and disrespectful rappers in the rap scene. His rise to fame was primarily attributed to his love of violence, disruption of public peace, and dissing other rappers who had passed away. As you can see, Fulio's life was similar to that of the Grim Reaper. But I suppose there are no fellow VS in the affairs of death. The latest video of Fulio was very unsettling, despite being in excellent spirits and seen interacting with a lot of strangers. There is one particular aspect that stands out more than the others. FIO was publicly disclosing his whereabouts on the internet as if he were an anonymous user. Despite having opponents, Julio FIO doesn't appear to care about the repercussions of making himself known. All rappers who have revealed their locations online seem to be dead. So when I saw Fulio post his location on Instagram and invite people to come on over, I knew trouble was lurking around the corner waiting for the right moment to come on over. I want to watch the video I just found.
where he is literally giving the ops his every move, his every drop, and just saying, come get me, this is it. While everyone else on the internet was worried that Fulio was posting his election on Instagram, Fulio seemed to be sick of life and crave. 